Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be a spy? Have you ever wondered what secret gadgets spies use to infiltrate the enemy? And finally, do you have what it takes to live a life of secrecy? To live a life undercover with the rush of being discovered and execution behind every corner. Come join us on a journey inside the International Spy Museum in Washington, D.C. Hey everyone, so where we are today is the International Spy Museum here in Washington, D.C. So if you're interested in anything spy related, anything in that industry, this is the place to go. Now the museum was started in 2002 but moved to this modern building behind me just in 2019. So it's a very modern museum and it's very interactive so your kids are going to love it and adults are going to love it too. The museum goes through the history of spies um, even in ancient times and you get to kind of be a spy as you go through it. So it's really interactive, it's really cool. Let's head in now. The museum begins with a short video that illustrates the lives of spies. You are then given a briefing and mission where you receive a card and code name that can be used throughout all of the interactive exhibits throughout the museum. The next part of the museum shows you famous spies throughout history. You can learn all about how they infiltrated different governments, secret units, and even royalty to fit their agenda. You can learn all about each spy's special tactics that they use to achieve their mission, including befriending the enemy, seduction, and working as a mole in underground organizations. These figures go back to medieval times all the way up to the present. This female spy used the art of seduction to get powerful men to do what she wanted. This Danish spy who converted to a radical Islam sect flipped over time and worked as a spy to infiltrate the terrorism operations of this radical group. The next part of the museum shows you interesting and creative spy gadgets such as weapons in disguise, hidden tools, and even secret tools that can be hidden in the spy's body. Check out these secret ways to send messages including invisible ink. This section is devoted entirely to secret escape tools that the spy could insert into their clothing or even inside of their body. This section shows how spies hide important tools in plain sight. And yes, the one on the bottom is a pair of testicles with an attached camera. Disguise is an extremely important technique for spies because it allows them to alter their appearance to blend in with the enemy. This section shows ways that spies have utilized disguise throughout history. Spies have even used robotic and live animals to surveil the enemy. Take a look at these examples. One thing you will learn about is the relationship between the agent or spy and the handler and how they share a special bond due to the life or death nature of the work. Learn about terror attacks in recent history and how governments had to employ the specialties of spies to maintain order and protect the national defense of several governments.
Next, the museum explores the idea of codes and ciphers, or special language that is known by a few to communicate messages. Codes and ciphers are employed and learned amongst a secret group of individuals so that in the event that the message was intercepted by the enemy, it wouldn't be able to be read. Interestingly, many spies infiltrate enemies to try and learn their unique codes and ciphers. The following part of the museum explores how the United States government caught major enemies over history utilizing the specialties of spies and espionage technology. Learn how spies have helped protect the national security from several threats over the past several decades. Next, learn how governments analyze and dissect the intelligence that spies retrieve. You can even do an interactive decision-making process for yourself. See how long you can last hanging for your life while trying to escape from the enemy. Learn all about espionage and spy technology in ancient times like the Trojan Horse and the development and training of ninja spies. Alright, what we're going to do next is crawl through a duct like a real spy. Let's see if we can do it. Take a look at how this Russian spy hit a weapon in plain sight with this simple umbrella disguise. Learn about the importance of the espionage profession to the national security of any nation. This section shows you how countries utilize spies to achieve their goals and maintain order and safety within their jurisdictions. In an ever-increasing digital and internet age, monitoring internet communications and maintaining the security of the cyber world is a completely new and evolving niche within the modern-day espionage profession. This section of the museum shows the visitor how spying has evolved to include managing the cybersecurity of people and the nation as a whole. Learn all about how the espionage profession has made it to the big screen and how it has been so successful in top action Hollywood blockbusters over the last several decades. The next section of the museum is devoted entirely to interrogation. So when you find a traitor or enemy spy, how do you get information from them? Here you will learn all about the interrogation techniques and torturous devices employed to get answers out of the enemy. These devices and techniques are designed to cause bodily and even mental harm and pain in order to coax the enemy into a confession or to retrieve information. The next section of the museum exhibits the real threat of terror in our everyday lives such as where we live, play, and work. It illustrates how spies are employed by the nation's intelligence unit to constantly be looking out for the welfare of the people. Spying on enemies who have bad intentions have likely saved thousands of lives thanks to the dangerous and dedicated work of these brave individuals.
Okay guys, that was the International Spy Museum tour. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tour. It was a lot of fun showing it. Um, it's very interesting. It's, it's very cool. It's so interactive as you saw. And it's something really to see when you're here in Washington DC. Uh, listen guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe, like this video, share this video, and leave me your comment below. Until next time, take care.